This is Dr. Artie Cavanaugh at Arvid WCS 2017. A lot of good education going on, sharing cases and learning about uh, important aspects of rheumatology and a big part of that has been the fellows presentations. Some fantastic presentations including one that we have here. Hello, my name is Mary Cordosina. I'm a first year fellow at Wayne State University, Henry Ford, and I have an interesting case that I'd like to share with you all. Um, CNS vasculitis is a rare disease. It can be primary disorder or it can be secondary to systemic illnesses. As we know, lupus can, be, can present in a variety of ways. It can um, affect all organs in the body, but including the neurologic system. So today I have here a young African American male with his initial presentation of SLE being secondary to necrotizing CNS vasculitis. So this young male actually had a headache for the past three months. He, um, prior to presentation, it was one week worsening of headache. He also had um, cerebellar symptoms of um, problems with memory as well as problems with walking. Um, he also had blurred vision, nausea, and vomiting. So they did a uh, imaging for him. They had CT of the head and the MRI that actually showed this mass like lesion in the left cerebellum. Now there are concerns maybe because the, um, he didn't have a past medical history, his family medical history, his um, aunt had lupus, but his cousin actually had um, sarcoidosis. So they're wondering is this neurosarcoidosis or is this secondary to a possibly underlying malignancy? Um, so they did a lumbar puncture on him, it showed um, lymphocytic, lymphocytic pleocytosis, it showed increased uh, protein as well. The man also had fatigue weight loss as well as joint pain and joint swelling. So they got serologies on him that showed a positive ANA 1 to 320, positive Smith as well as a positive RNP for him. That's when rheumatology got on board for him. So we thought that you know, he does fulfill criteria for SLE, so we gave him pulse dose steroids and then we asked them to get a tissue biopsy for him. That actually did show, if you can see over here, it showed um, necrotizing vasculitis with a fibrinoid um, necrosis as well as the um, inflammatory infiltrate around large vessels and small vessels. Now this is important because we actually got a um, conventional angiogram that was negative. It didn't show any vascular abnormalities for him. So um, the biggest thing for me in this learning case is getting a tissue biopsy. It can really govern, um, govern your therapy for him. So after you know the confirmation that he has this necrotizing vasculitis secondary to lupus, we gave induction therapy with IV cyclophosphamide as well as we did a prednisone, um, after pulse dose steroids, we then did prednisone. Maintenance therapy is Imuran for him or azathioprine. And actually when we got a repeat MRI, this whole mass is gone. So yeah, his headaches controlled, his cerebellar symptoms are um, gone, resolved. So. Some, some in nice pearls in there about the tissue diagnosis, etc. So, well, great case. Thank you, and thank you for coming. And this is Dr. Artie Cavanaugh signing off from RWCS 2017.